It's been a rough go of it. I know the last few years here, numbers are always an issue. But unlike some coaches in the area, you have at least three returning offensive starters that put up some good numbers. If you talk about those kids and, and where you gauge your team at this point uh, leading up to the start of the season. Yeah, we do have some good returners. Um, C.J. Hartley, I think, you know, I've said this to other people, I, I think he's one of the best in the county. I mean, the kid is phenomenal. I mean, he can run, he flat out leap, great hands. And, you know, for his age, the sophomore is a great leader. Um, I expect big things out of him, and, and you know, we, we got to get him to football. And we have Patrick Miller. You know, he played some quarterback for us last year, but we're going to use him running back slot, do some other stuff. And if we have to put him a quarterback, we will, but he's just another good athlete. He's got some good speed, and, you know, I think if we can utilize him and, and uh, CJ, their strengths, we're going to have pretty good success. And then you have, you know, Connor Griffin's just a kid that, I mean, if I asked him to play center, he would. He, he's phenomenal. He's a daggone good athlete. He's a you know, great, great point average, He's just all around great football player. And I, you know, I think with their senior leadership and our and our, our couple, two or three senior line, returning linemen, I, I think we got a chance to move the football. And with our Two young quarterbacks, they're going to need all the help they can get, but I, I'm very confident in the, in the two sophomores that, that we have working right now, and it's, uh, it's going to be fun to watch them. Now, I know the situation in tonight, uh, you, do, you guys have been running late practices, trying to avoid the heat maybe from your late afternoon practices, uh, but today you don't, get it, you don't catch a break with lightning in the area, so you're split outdoor one half, and now you're indoors. How frustrating is that for you as a head coach, trying to maintain concentration levels with these kids transferring in and then coming, I mean, transferring from outdoors to coming indoors? You know, you do get frustrated because, like today, we had an hour of practice and it was going well. You know, I, was even, I even had the ability to go up and, you know, film some offense and some skelly and then, you know, thunders and we had to come in. But, you know, we don't, we don't lose our expectations. I know that they're going to struggle inside, but we just try to pick it up a little bit and, I think it's good for kids to be put in those situations and see how they're going to respond. And, you know, last Thursday we had to do it. They had a great practice today. But I think what that is is, you know, we're out there in pads and it's 88 degrees. And that's, you know, that's hard on them, on them kids. It's hard on us. You um, have a tough non-conference schedule starting out. What are you really looking for out of these kids when you, come, when you basically finish up on a Friday night? I'm just looking at they, they leave it out on the field. You know, I tell them if you're going to make a mistake, make an aggressive mistake. I just want the kids to keep playing hard, be coachable. But, you know, th these kids, we got to find some success for them and set some goals for them on what we want to do and, and just come out and play hard every night. And I think with this group, I think we'll surprise some people. I'm very, I'm very impressed with them with the limited time I've had with them.